Well, let's start with what is your plan? We're we're currently in Grimmel, yes? I think you guys went back to Grimmel at the end of the last session, yeah. Okay. You got attacked on the road, collected up your treasure, went back to Grimmel, sold off your stuff, uh, and then you were deciding where you wanted to go from there. That, uh, Tyler, that 43k was our last split, correct? You're lighting up, but no sound's coming out. Sorry. Uh, it was 46249, something like that. Is that what I posted? Okay, I can, I can go back and find it. I just never wrote it down, and I need to make sure I get rid of 30% of that for tithing before I attempt to spend any of it. And then, John, yeah, question I, for I you. Post it. I have it here. I, I just wasn't sure if, where I okay. sent it for the first time. Uh, since I didn't get one of my items that I wanted, do I get the money back for that? Yep, which item didn't you get? Uh, I didn't get the Gloves of Dexterity plus four, so I got 16k back from that. Oh, okay. You just missed that roll? Yeah, I, I failed that roll. That was the one item I didn't get, was that one. So. Wanted to make sure I added it back to my total. And then, I have a city's reposting. Oof. Okay, 46294. I'm a scoundrel, I gotta do the reroll. I'll take it. What's the reroll for? The hit dice from. We leveled up to 11, right? I was just trying to figure out why Scoundrel has anything to do with it. Well, I mean, he's a gambler, right? I, I can't just take average. You gotta risk it. It's all about the luck. Yeah, except that you have max hit points. Oh, yeah. Fair point. It does technically make sense to risk it and roll. I would take average from this point forward, though. Yeah, that's true. But that HP should be correct. No, it's not. Well, I'm stupid. You have 145 hit points? How do you have more hit points than Joseph? Because Joseph hasn't updated his. Yeah, I didn't level up. I didn't realize we were level 11 now. That's but what I happens when you don't follow along in Discord. Okay, do you guys have a plan? Um, last time I think we were going to uh, head up I know north. the original plan was to go to the abandoned fort. Though I'm going to yeah. be honest, I was kind of tired, so I don't quite know why I'd want to go to the abandoned fort. We were just going to scout out that way, just see what type of dangers are in the area, and then loop back around to the Duke. You guys are looking for a trade route through the uh, plains, um, scouting out the ruins. Uh, I forgot to put the name of it on this map again. I think I sent it to someone. I put it in the chat or something. Um, you did share it. But I still have to open my notes. Yeah, I don't but yeah, I mean, 
that was the plan. So I guess we want to continue with that. We don't really need, unless we want to go to the underground. As far as I know, we don't have any intel that says Balwick is in danger. Um, Xander's still against openly attacking the orcs due to the treaty, though he has no problem dealing in skirmishes, as evidenced of the fact he started the last fight. But, um, yeah. I believe, anyway, we were just going to head up near Ballrig to see what the situation's like firsthand, anyway, I think is what we said last time. Just skirt around it a little bit. On our way to whatever abandoned fort this was. I guess yeah. we're No good. Okay. Okay. Is there anything you need to do before you head out? Not that I know of. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we're all pretty set for now. I guess able to hear me. Sorry, what was that? Uh, uh, are you guys able to hear? I guess so. You can. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. I heard a, heard a weird pop like you don't have a clean connection, but I can hear you. Is it still a bit iffy? No, I just heard the one pop. It just sounds okay. like you had just plugged in your mic and it snapped as it connected. Fair. Wonderful. Okay. Um, no, I have nothing else I need to do. Okay. Are you guys following the road up? Uh, I want to look at Joseph. Uh, I mean... Can you take us in a straight shot? Like, follow the road a bit, and then just... I mean, this is probably going to be the easy way to avoid the main army, right? And attack any of the stragglers in the back as we go to our main location? I mean, I shouldn't have any problems cutting through the hills there, but I don't know if it'd be that much shorter, depending on how hilly it is. That's true. I'm just more trying to the avoid. road is. Well, I don't have a problem with difficult terrain. I don't know what you guys yeah. are capable of. Yeah, I'm more trying to avoid fighting a massive amount of orcs. I'm fine fighting skirmishes. I'm assuming we just sent off Parents' people to uh, Mercom, right? Or are we? Are they following us? What was the situation with that? No, you took them all to Mercom. Yeah, cool. We left okay. them there. That was the reason the encounter that we did last time happened on the way back to Grimmel because I didn't want to deal with a hundred NPCs in a uh, random encounter. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, Xander's all for following Joseph in the woods unless someone, unless, you know, anyone's got any other plan. That'd probably be the best one unless we want to risk picking a fight with the main orc army at Ball Rig, so through the hills is probably our best bet. I mean, at the very least, Ryan, if they do see you, you won't feel any pain because the arrows will blot out the sky. True. I'll just click into my shield and I'll just walk away. It's that simple. <laughs> I'm glad you believe that. You know, it is good I to do. have hope. Now, hope is the foundation you know, of optimism. faith. Exactly. Yes. Very optimistic. Yes, yes. Then we will fight in the shade. Random question. Uh, do you have a will by any chance? Uh, ooh, haven't had a chance to write that. I probably One, should get to that perfect. now that I'm Nope, alert. nope, nope. That, that's fine. That's all I needed. I'm going to work on my forgery skills. Okay, <laughs> thank you. How many ranks and so. linguistics do you have? I have four. So not many. Yeah, you're going to have a hard time forging a will with a low linguistics check. Yeah, it'll work out. 
What's your will save? Me or him? You. Uh, nine? Uh, nine. Uh, just Ryan was whining about his saves earlier. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm easily possessed. Or paralyzed. Or afraid. Okay, so you guys uh, head out to the north. Um, you travel uneventfully uh, along the road. Um, when you start out through the hills, you can give me a perception check. Are you taking Natural Bond at 11th level, Joseph? Uh... Forgot what that does. Gives you plus three to your Druid level for your Animal Companion. I might hold off on that. I'm going to use the sun for this encounter because I didn't have time to set up the DL. Just to Fair get enough. a limited range of vision. I'll even use the Lathander sun for you. Appreciate it. I was wondering why the map was dark over on the bottom. Okay. There you go. Sorry, I meant to center you right away, but the first thing I noticed was the lighting. That seems pretty much perfect.
Okay, so Joseph with a 33. Wow, everyone rolled well. Okay, uh, Joseph, as you are leading the pack, Roll 20 is lagging like a bitch. I'm all for it. It gives me time to finish my macros that I should have done two weeks, three weeks ago. There we go. Um, you... Uh... You see something in the tree stump to the northeast of you. Joseph? Yeah? See something in the tree stump to the northeast of you. I see something. Well, you don't have clear line of sight stump. to it, but you're, you're looking around and you had a ridiculously high spot check. Although I didn't roll my actual stealth, but I think I can only get to a 29, I think. You beat it by 13, so that's even enough for the cover modifier. All right, I guess uh, I'll do a little stealth moving. Do I see it better now? Uh, no, you can't really make out anything. I'm sure you saw something, but uh, can't really tell from this vantage point what it is, what it was. It, are these rocks going up or going down? Those rocks go down. Highest point is the tree stump, lowest point is the ground after the rocks. All right, I'll go up to the stump and just tap on it. Okay, are you sneaking up or are you just walking up? Uh, I think I just walk up. Okay. As you approach, uh, an orc archer pops up out of the top of it. I wish I had a hammer. What do you want a hammer for? Well, it looks like we're playing whack-a-mole. Oh, yeah. You got to get up there first. It's about 10 feet up. Then I'll 
chop them down to size. Yeah, you can try that. The diameter of the trunk's only about eight feet, so it shouldn't take you too long. 23 a hit on you? No. Okay, then we can move to initiative. Each of the uh, superior initiative, that's plus four and plus four, correct? Yep. Okay. So 12 normally, so I have... Ooh, fuck yeah, 33 initiative. Good, that's perfect for what's about to happen. God damn you, Joseph. What is Joseph doing that's so terrible this time? He's out of range is what he is. Your legs, bro. Use them. Use them. No. If I want to be able to affect the two people next to me, he's out of range. Because, per the spell, no two creatures can be more than 30 feet apart. You're casting Greater Haste for one orc? No, I was just going to cast Regular Haste. Oh, okay. You just seem Which... so impressed with yourself. Look, well, if he won't be, who will? That's just a wizard thing. True. I guess there's nobody else around to be impressed by him. This is the very beginning of a fight. Everyone's close together. I'm going to get out as uh, at least one buff for everyone else other than myself for right now. It's a yeah, third level spell. I can handle it. That That's how you start every fight is by not buffing yourself and then whining that you're getting killed. I, I have I have other buff. Uh, Go nuts. Do whatever you're going to do, Ryan. Chris Kyle, the orc archer is coming. Watch. <laughs> Chris Kyle, the orc archer is coming. Okay. okay. Uh, I am going to pop haste on myself, Yurik, and Onyx, or, and Xander and Onyx. Um, and then I'm going to use a fast, uh, stone, I'm going to pop out a fast stone skin as well. Fast stone skin is a 7th level spell. 6. I have, uh, improved meta magic, So it drops it down. Okay. How long is this haste going to last? Uh, let me get it figured out here. That's uh, a third level spell. There you go. 14 rounds. Uh, yeah. Why the hell am I over here and not? Oh, that's the stone skin. I can't. Yeah, something roll twenty will ever let me open it. I need to, so I can at least get to this. There you go, you can put your stone skin stats on your stone skin. And...
Yes. Uh, what is the 10 plus one? Or actually it, it'd be 10 plus two for reduction on this thing. What do you mean, what is it? Uh, so what what's the plus two part of it? So it says That's this- the magic uh, you need to overcome it. The slash, oh shit, okay. The slash is the magical weapon you need to overcome that 10 points. Perfect. Um, and then I have a, uh, that's it for me. Got a buff spell and a defense spell out. I'm happy. Okay, Xander, you're up. Um, can I just delay, I guess, until after the archers to see if anything happens at this point? I can, you can do whatever happen. you want. I'll just do that. Joseph, you're up. Unless you don't want it, in which case, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to look at the stump. See if there's an easy way to climb it. Um, It's just a tree trunk, so it's not particularly hard to climb. I think it would be like a DC-20 to climb. All right. Doing anything else? Nope. Okay. Uh, then we're on to the archer. So he uh, will take another shot at you or two. Ooh, a pair of 26s. If I could roll double digits, I could actually hit. And then the other one will target Orion. A pair of 27s. That hit on you, Orion? Look at that. I'm up to that fives has... now. Sixes. I rolled sixes. A two, a pair of fives, a pair of sixes. 5d20. I'm over 20. Did you say they hit? Yep. Okay, it's 14 and 16. Are they plus two? No, I don't think they have any... Oh, so, no, it's, they're plus one, so no. Okay, no. so 14 and 16 minus 20. So I, my stone skin takes 20, 10 points of damage. Correct? No, you're that is how you calculate you're, that? Do you have any DR? Yes, is it 10-2? Uh, so 10 no, plus 2. do you have any DR? Oh, me? No. Or I have three. Yeah, well, that's more than no. I have three DR. Okay, so you subtract the 3DR from it, and the rest goes on your stone skin. Uh, then what's the 10 hardness from the stone skin? That's stuff that penetrates the stone skin and hits you instead. If they did 54 points of damage, 20 of it would go on the stone skin, the rest would go on you. Uh, okay. Gotcha. So, six from 30, so 24 points. Got it. Okay. Okay, I think we're then on to Yurik. Please, Xander, delay his turn if he wants to do it. 
Oh, that's fair. Um, that archer and to the right to attack two. Uh, well, assuming I see him, I guess I'll move action here. And you said it's a climb check, which is athletic. Yes. Not my highs. Oh, nice. Uh, I will climb that. Is it? Oh. I'm talking to myself again. Still. How far did you move? 80 out of 100, I believe, if my math is right. Okay. Yeah, with haste, so then. Twenty-two, and I'll move up the tree. Okay. I think I'll be at least close to him, hopefully, at the end of the round. Uh, yep. Cool. Thank you. It's only 10 feet up. Oh. Okay. Okay, one more archer to the north. I knew there was another one around somewhere. So he'll target Orion as well. Twenty-seven and a one. Look at me go. The twenty-seven will hit. Okay, whopping eleven points of damage. My stone skin only takes eight. Okay, Yurik, are you doing anything? Uh, was Joseph cutting down the tree? I have What's no idea what Joseph's doing. He's inspecting the tree. Uh, there, he's only 10 feet up the tree, isn't he? Is that what you said? Yeah, the stump is 10 feet high. Okay. Then I'm going to make my move. With the rest of my movement, I'd like to climb up the tree. Make an athletics check. Okay, you lose your uh, your shield when you climb the tree. Yeah, that's fine. 35. You said it's 10 feet? Yep. And one move action I can get to the top then. Because okay. I have a climb speed of 10 feet due to the athletic skill enchained. Okay. Uh, and then I guess I could take a standard action if that was only a single movement. I guess I'll attempt to hit him with my axe and shield then. You don't have your shield for Oh, starters. you're right. I'll just hit him with my axe. <clears throat> okay. It's a hit. <clears throat> okay. Since I don't have my shield on, I... Oh, awful roll. That's what you like to see in the morning. That'll be it. Okay, then we will move on to the hunters. I think those might be the only two that are in immediate range. What time uh, of day is this, by the way? Um, this would be late afternoon. Okay. Yurik, you do know you have haste as well. I don't know if you could have made another attack. No, because I had to use my move action to get up the tree. Ah, okay. Okay, so who do we attack? Who do we hate more, traitor orcs or just dwarves in general? I'm here. No one cares about you. Okay. 
Yeah, let's go with dwarves. We're at war with dwarves, so let's kill them first. Oh, no. Okay, so... Uh, one... I guess it's just the one over there. Oh, well. He misses you. Yep, yep. And then the three in the bottom here will attack Xander. 28. 28 would hit. I think, right? You're flat-footed or something when you're climbing? Yeah, you're flat-footed while you're climbing. You're you're on the side of the tree? Uh, yeah. I guess I should move closer. Yeah, you should be on top of the tree. Yeah, I would have And you made it all the way to the top? Yeah, I think you can move half speed, right? So I would have just gotten next to the archer. Okay. Yep, the one hits. Okay, then he sticks you for a little bit of damage. What do these guys use? Are they using bows as well? Or? Yeah, they're using bows. Okay. So, nine points. Last guy will move down so he can get a shot at you. Ooh, 27. Is that a hit? Um, You'd have to look it. Oh, wait. Flat-footed. That is a hit. Okay. Another four points. Eat it. That is fair. Okay. And then we are back to initiative. Oh, I thought I rolled the five. I didn't even look at my actual number. Okay, Ryan, you're up first. Make sure you click <laughs> on your character, not your token, your stone skin. Yeah, that, yeah. Um, alrighty, we are going to start off with a, uh, days. Okay. On the archer that is right by Joseph and Yurik. Um, that is a DC 25. What do you have to do again to get your points if you're still trying? You have to not take them out before they can act, or? What points? His affiliation thing, wasn't he trying to do that last session, or? Oh, that was, yeah, I was just calculating from last session. This isn't, I, I'm not worried about that right now. Okay. Tonight, I'm more worried about surviving. Oh, you'll be fine. Okay, but fair enough. Carry on. I, I think I should be fine, but again, Ferenc isn't here. So if I go down, I'm fucked. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the days on on him. So he uh, he fails that one. Okay. So let me put the. Uh, I'll just do the lightning helix for days. Oh, not not the X. My bad. Okay. And then I'm going to follow that up by a greater invisibility. Okay. Sun's getting into greater, damn. Yeah, not about this fight at all. He's tired no. of being bullied. He's had enough. 
Well, the greater invisibility would have been a much better starting spell. It, it would have, and I, I thought about that too late, to be honest. Um, I hit stone skin, and I was like, I totally could have went invisible on that. But again, um, didn't think quite quite as fast as I should have, but uh, we're good. So I am now invisible, and uh, I am going to move. I have 60 feet up here. Moved right there. Give me one second to move it. Moved right here. And that's my turn. Okay. Joseph, you're up. Why did you roll 3d8? Because I forgot to hit 4. Okay, i just trying to figure out the math on that. Either way, he was dead. Plus 47? Did you take greater power attack? Improved. Oh, okay. Okay, and then we're on to Xander. Um, I assume since he's using a bow in this tree, I can, like, land next to him and attack, or... There's um... nowhere to stand. Oh, okay. Then, that is why he I have He occupies the entire top part of the tree. He is obnoxious. Okay, I will attack with the dagger then, is that fine? Yep. Uh... Can you give me another climb check? Fair. Ooh, 17. Um, does that fail? I forget. Yep, that fails. It's DC 20. Ah, damn. Uh, do I have anything for that? Uh, what is my luck? It is a 3. I already have 1 on it. It'll be a 19. Nope. Uh, I could look it down. I'll look it down, I guess. Lock it down. <laughs> I use my luck to make myself suck and then roll even worse. Wow. Uh, well, I can use my second luck to, I guess, at least make that a 20. So, sure. That's a waste. Why is your athletics so low? Because I didn't put that many ranks in it because I didn't think it would come up. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so you can make your attack without plunging to your death. Uh, I don't have a macro for this, so let's see. That 11 plus that plus that. Is it a full attack or is it just one attack? Ah, uh, you can make a full attack. You're you're adjacent to him when you attack. Nice. Uh, that is a six, seventeen, eighteen. Uh, crits. Ah, uh, those second two are crit. Both of which confirm, neither of which are follow-up crits. Oh, well. What is an exceptional dagger? D8, I believe? Uh, yep, D8. It's, and I'm not too But the orc dagger. or the kobold rogues we're using. Mm. Sorry, it's taking so long to figure those out. So 
So 46, 51, and 11. Oh, wow, you killed him. Barely. With a dagger. <laughs> Just shank him. Shove him off. Can I take that spot? I have, have you, well, you can't this round, but you can climb up there next round if you want. Perfect. Yeah, you can't that is for the key. life of me determine why you would want to be up there. Well, I have both. So I mean, that is fair. someone to be up there. Okay. Yeah, enough miners. 